That's right, folks. Director Gore Verbinski is back. Got my pin and my shirt. Now, Verbinski is simultaneously the best and the worst part about Akirka Wellness. The thing is visually hypnotic. The smooth cinematography, along with the bleak set design and the dark costume design, combine to make a very atmospheric horror film that leaves you disgusted, as a good horror film should. And Verbinski has always had a eye for stunning visuals. And if you see this movie and or have seen The Ring, you know he also has a talent for crafting disgusting images that just linger in your mind long after the movie. Those images that Verbinski crafts in this film are the best thing about it. Unfortunately, Cure is all style and no stuffing. Dane DeHaan plays an up-and-coming businessman who is sent to the Swiss Alps to retrieve a CEO for the company he works at so that he can sign off on a merger between them and another larger corporation. Of course, that's just the setup so that Dane DeHaan can get himself into all sorts of trouble. It's the same old song and dance we've seen in a bunch of other horror films. But then we get this convoluted backstory about the spa slash retreat slash about a baron and a, or a baroness or something. Even the village folklore among the natives of the town is inconsistent. Every time Dahan's character talks to somebody about what's happened at this place in the past, everybody's like, no, 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 no. This is really what happened, which kind of seems to defeat the purpose of a tale that everybody's supposed to know. Doesn't anybody know what happened, really? Now, Dane DeHaan is good in this movie. Unfortunately, he isn't given a whole lot to do in terms of character development. His talent is pretty much squandered for the sake of seeing him limp through long, empty corridors as he hides behind doors or hides in corners while avoiding Nazi-like staffers who just walk straight past him and have zero personality. And his character is so stupid. He has all the opportunity in the world to just leave the place and come back with help, or just leave indefinitely, or quit his job and just leave, be safe, whatever. He doesn't. He continues to sleuth around for no good reason, despite the awful, horrible things he's witnessed. I don't want to go into too much detail about that. I don't want to spoil it for you. And then when you do see these things that are supposed to be shocking, and disgusting. A lot of them didn't work for me because I'd already seen them in the trailer. So when we'd build up towards a moment, I'd be like, oh, this is going to happen. And it would happen because I saw it in the trailer and it had no effect on me. And many of the reveals that aren't in the trailer, especially toward the third act, were not effective on me either because I saw those coming because this is a predictable script. It's an amalgamation of a bunch of other horror movies that have done the psychological game a lot better than this. The third act introduces some interesting things, but by that time, you're almost two and a half hours into the thing, and I just didn't care about any of the characters or what happened to them, because they're stiffs. Jason Isaacs has the most interesting role. He plays the director of this health spa where people come for this cure. Nobody ever says what that is. But he has an interesting story with him and this girl who just kind of walks around the hospital grounds singing to herself. So while there are some crazy disgusting visuals and an interesting subplot involving the doctor and this girl, and a solid performance by Dane DeHaan, A Cure for Wellness ends up being nothing but a two and a half hour walk down the halls with Dane DeHaan as he opens one door after another doing the same thing, looking around this creepy place and not running away like he should be. And those strong visuals Unfortunately, as good as they may be, thanks to Verbinski, there's also not a lot of story, not a lot of substance to that story. It's not as smart as it thinks it is. I'm going to have to give this movie a C-. Well, let me know what you guys thought. Click the thumbs up if you liked this review. Thanks for watching.